Registered Phenomena Code 011 Object Class Alpha White Hazard Types Immeasurable Hazard Memory Alteration Hazard Containment Protocols The creation of an authority-controlled terrorist attraction, operating under the name Clanyard Bay Phantom Piper Cave, has been deemed necessary as part of RPC-011's ongoing containment protocols due to its presence in local folklore and mythology. Efforts to discourage disruptive forces such as terrorists, conspiracy hunters, and GOIs are described in the Induction Package, page 4. Distraction Protocols and include examples such as random placement of industry standard containment doors, staff who refuse to answer or act suspiciously when asked certain questions, and warnings to visiting members of the public not to enter specific caverns or touch certain objects. The actual location of RPC-011 is to be registered and secured under Cover Protocol Zeta-3, as best as dump, with authority presence under the guise of a cleanup style operation. The entrance to RPC-011 should be sealed when not in use for testing, and regular checks are to be made on RPC-011's perimeter. Lethal force is authorized to prevent entry if necessary. However, all armed personnel should not present themselves as armed in order to deter suspicion. Guns are mostly illegal in Scotland, and the sight of armed security personnel would arouse too much suspicion as well as attract protesters. Keep your guns hidden, and use them only when all other options have expired. Any instances of RPC-011-1 are to be documented by staff on site before being transferred to site for further study. Description: RPC-011 is a cave network in the Inchnadamp region of northern Scotland. It has a single entrance which leads into two large interior chambers, one of which features a small pond and around 5.1 kilometers of narrow passageways ending approximately 600 meters underground. Anomalous properties are only observed when a person, or persons, enters RPC-011 and states clearly in the Scottish Gaelic language, Tha Mia Mianachad, followed by any other word or phrase in any language. Roughly translates to, I wish. Persons affected by RPC-011 will become easily confused and disoriented, quickly losing sight of anyone else and appearing to vanish from the perspective of any observers. The subject would then find themselves in a tunnel section of RPC-011, not accessible through normal means, with poor visibility. This tunnel is approximately 1.3 meters wide, and is suspected to be infinite in length. RPC-011's secondary effect will take place while the subject is within this chamber. A subject can return to the entrance of RPC-011 by turning around and walking three paces. Testing has shown this to occur regardless of how far into RPC-011 the subject has progressed. At some point, during the subject's duration within this tunnel section, the affected subject will acquire an object, known as RPC-011-1. Testing has shown this can occur in a range of different ways, including finding an RPC-011-1 instance in a pocket or attached to an item of clothing, or to find it within RPC-011, positioned in such a way that subject will walk into it. In several cases, testing subjects have emerged from RPC-011, carrying an RPC-011-1 instance in their hands, but, when questioned, were unable to remember picking it up. A list of RPC-011-1 instances are detailed below. Document 0011-1 A partial list of RPC-011-1 instances to date. All subjects were equipped with a two-way radio headset and a flashlight. On entering, none knew of RPC-011's anomalous properties. Designation Subject Statement Instance Description 0011-1-1 CSD-9821 was unaware of RPC-011. Subject was chosen as a control. Subject wandered around RPC-011's interior for several hours. After nothing happened, 
subject was ordered to return. 0011-1-2 CSD-1211 A good meal. Subject found a flyer for a local restaurant in their pocket after exiting RPC-011. 0011-1-3 CSD-9972 A job. Subject exited RPC-011, holding a paycheck from the authority. Further investigation revealed that the subject had been hired several weeks prior as a cleaner for site, but an administrative glitch had accidentally registered them as CSD-0011-1-4 CSD-2718 A good drink. Subject exited RPC-011 drenched in water. 0011-1-5 CSD-2341 Subject immediately reappeared at the exit of RPC-011. 0011-1-6 CSD-2213 See my daughter again. Subject found a photo of his daughter in their back pocket upon exiting RPC-011. It should be noted, subject CSD-2213 does not have any children. 0011-1-7 CSD-4522 Unlimited Wishes Subject began screaming over the supplied headset that they were unable to leave RPC-011. Subject became increasingly anxious and began running in both directions, screaming the trigger phrase with additional statements, until subject became blocked in by numerous objects which had materialized around him. Subject was advised to repeat trigger phrase and asked to leave RPC-011. Subject did so, but claimed to be now under attack. Subject was asked to clarify. Subject began to scream and dropped headset. The distant sounds of someone running and the clatter of various objects were heard for several minutes until communication ceased. 0011-1-8 CSD-3678 The Ability to Fly Subject was ejected from the exit of RPC-011 at a velocity of approximately 340 meters per second. After visually tracking subject for several minutes, MST Gamma 6 Yarda does Avon were deployed to retrieve remains of CSD 3678. Subject was found just outside the Norwegian city of Stavanger, approximately 643 km away. 0011 1 9 CSD 0961 A hot chick. Subject exited RPC 011 holding a box of spicy chicken wings, which were promptly by subject and assisting personnel. 0011-1-10 CSD-8121 Unlimited Wealth Subject became crushed under what is presumed to be an unlimited amount of GBP coins of varying values. 0011-1-11 CSD-2111, a priceless object. Subject was instructed to ask for a priceless object, but instead asked for a RPC Master Key Card and a gun. Subject charged from the exit of RPC-011 and attempted to attack several researchers with what appeared to be a Nerf gun. The subject was terminated by on-site security. A later search revealed subject to have a credit Master Card in its back pocket. 0011-1-12 Dr. Amos Information on your creation, workings, and intent. Subject returned with a large book, which on closer inspection was revealed to be a biography on the life of Dr. Amos that included a highly detailed description of his conception, birth, and the numerous revenge schemes he harbored against his old headmaster, his second wife, his third wife, his current wife, and… Dr. Amos described the book as a damn good read. Addendum Discovery Logs RPC-011 was discovered during a routine investigation of local myths and legends. A man in Edinburgh, who ran a poltergeist and conspiracy theory blog, claimed to have found the quote, real wishing cave, unquote, claiming he had wished for better hair and promptly revealing his prematuring baldness had been cured. Agents became curious and decided to follow the subject 
as he promised to livestream the location of the cave and his second wish. Agents were able to isolate the subject's phone and prevent broadcast. Containment team arrived at RPC-011 20 minutes later found no sign of the subject, but reported a statue of lightness identical to the subject with the words, quote, to be a stronger, more stable man, unquote, embedded onto the plinth.